Franklin D. Roosevelt. Every worker in the country, farmers, bank presidents, streetcar conductors, dentists, teachers, clerks, mechanics, even unskilled laborers, work three months of every year to pay for what government spends. But the rich pay the taxes. Why should I worry? That's where we're fooling ourselves. Why, if government took all incomes, over $5,000 a year and tax them 100%, that would pay the cost of government for only four months. Everyone, whether in the factory, shop, farm, or office, pays for the cost of government. Well, suppose we do. But I am willing to pay taxes to provide national defense for my country to see that we have an army, a navy, and airplanes strong enough to protect us against any invaders. Every American agrees that our country's defenses must be so strong that no nation would dare attack us. We don't want what has happened in Europe to happen here. Let us not forget the lesson taught by Europe's agony. We all know that England and France tried the easy way that France under Premier Léon Blum had a new deal similar to our new deal and that today the French people have paid in blood and sorrow the price for that fatal experiment. Every thinking patriotic American favors this country building up its national defenses at once. That job has been delayed far too long by the experimenters in Washington. No one today disputes the need for a powerful army, navy and air force for our national defense. For these taxes are willingly paid. But our money has not been spent during the last seven years for national defense. In the last seven years, the New Deal has spent the breathtaking sum of $58 billion. Of this total, only $6 billion and $900 million was spent on national defense. So-called defense taxes now being imposed are not sufficient to meet the ordinary deficit much less to pay the cost of past, present, or future defense. What did we get for the money spent by the New Deal for defense? Ranking officers of the Army have told Congress, in effect, that our national defenses are woefully inadequate, that we lack automatic rifles for our infantry, that we...